Hey lovelies, and welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Today we're going to be talking about Simon Gobadia, Matteo Holt, Portia Williams, and Sheree. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and everyone please like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's start with Simon. So Simon, I'm going to talk about this briefly because I know you guys don't really care too much about it, but you guys know that Simon was alleging that... Portia brought an armed person to the house. He did not reference it as security. Well, Simon is now using his nanny as a witness. And one of the things that she said is that Simon is a truly admirable individual. In all of my time with him, I've never witnessed any signs of aggression or anger. He consistently exhibits a calm and kind demeanor. Now, I'm not being funny. Now, I, first of all, I don't know if that's the reality or that is not. But let's be honest, right? Imagine you had a job as a nanny and you've been earning well all these years. Are you going to mess with your bag by saying something else other than what your employer wants to say? Most people wouldn't. You have to be someone who stands for what is right and who has integrity to go against your employer by telling the truth now i don't know if she's telling the truth or not all i'm saying is it is putting her in a weird situation like imagine your employer is like oh i want you to testify at court and you know if you say no you don't have a job what are you going to say for the most part like unless you're just like do you know what i'm a stand true to who i am and what is right i'm not doing this most people would do it and would say whatever it is you want them to say. So I'm not about to hold whatever it is that she says like as it's gospel, right? Now, she did say that she was unable to return to her home on Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. And um, because Portia left the marital home without informing her. Um, and it was also the week when Simon's children were there. She also talks about the fact that Portia returned to the residence like two weeks later, carrying and um, with someone who basically had a pow pow. This is the part I want to read, honey. The man appeared imposing, and his sudden presence was unexpected. I had no prior knowledge of Portia bringing someone with her. This situation was completely unforeseen. Is this really her language, or is this something someone told her to draft? Anyway, I'd never seen this individual before and his intimidating demeanor was alarming. Mm, okay. Well, like I said, it's one of those things where I feel like this is something that could have been orchestrated by Simon. This is my opinion. I don't know it to be fact. Let me just say that allegedly. Like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, are these the nanny's words? Is this something that was inspired by somebody else, aka Simon? But in any event, I'll keep you guys updated about what happens with that. Now, let's move on to Sheree and Mattel. You guys remember um, just a couple of days ago, Mattel literally put on put Mrs. Holt under Sheree's picture. Now, we all know that being a Mrs. Holt means nothing. It's not a compliment whatsoever. But I guess Mattel and Ari and Corey probably think it is especially with the way she's always calling mr holt i'm like mm -hmm. well we don't believe he's called you mrs holt yet so that's a bit of a shame because he's out here calling sheree mrs holt whilst you've been out here riding for him all these years so it definitely sucks to be her but anyway if she likes it i love it okay so here's the thing i feel like it's given new storyline vibes it's given i want to be all up in that real housewives i want to go back to being a cast member so i'm gonna do whatever it is i want to do or need to do to get my peach back because why else is she frolicking with Mattel holt like it doesn't make any sense now i see if that wasn't bad enough she seems to now be hanging out with Simon Gobardia, K.A. Portia's husband. Now, my thing is, if you're so-called friends with somebody, cordial with somebody, you meant to be hanging around their ex. What I think is interesting also is that it's not like we've seen you hang out with this man before. As far as we know, you weren't at the wedding, so you weren't important enough to be invited to the wedding. 
but all of a sudden you are now meant to be hanging around him like i just don't get it it's given i want a storyline at all cost right the thing about sheree is i feel like she always aligns herself to the wrong side she is so dumb a like part of the reason i feel that she is probably not gonna get peach as a full-time this season is because she was hanging around marlo doing the most and being marlo's sidekick on the last season i feel like she continues to align herself why not just stand by yourself right see who you gravitate towards see who you enjoy being around stop trying to stare ish because everything with sheree feels manufactured it does not seem natural or original she cannot stand on her own so she has to create the beef manufacture the beef because i'm sorry why are you hanging around simon when we've never seen you hang around him before it's given you want to secure the peach you're a disloyal disgusting individual that is what is giving now i'm not out here saying portia's moral standard is high but it's just like you are not even letting the ink on the on the divorce dry yet you're out here hanging out with him and simon is a troll we know this already let's be honest simon is one of those people that when you break up with him he will troll you for years and it's disgusting he posted a caption saying great breaking bread with good and loyal friends i was just thinking like loyal friends you think sheree is loyal sheree ain't loyal to nobody hun you gonna learn he's not loyal to anybody but then again are you loyal to anybody I feel like you guys will fit perfectly makes sense you guys have no loyalty you go where the wind blows so that makes sense i'm sure you guys will enjoy each other maybe as a matter of fact maybe she can be mrs gobadia because she clearly don't want to do nothing because we still haven't seen she by sheen like what is going on with that hardly see her promote nothing we haven't seen customers buying the items wearing the items plugging it so it's like she by she and isn't really doing much i think in the caption or in the comments rather i saw someone saying like sheree is always on the wrong side of history i'm like do you know what a hundred percent a hundred percent she always aligns herself with the wrong people i'm like i don't understand how you're old enough you've been on the show long enough you're the most fired um peach holder on the show which I would think like it would make you think okay should I reassess how I am on this show why is it that I'm the one that is constantly getting let go most of the times like what can I do differently right go back and watch the seasons learn something from it but it just gives the impression of someone who is unwilling to do the work you have to be willing to do the work you have to be willing to do something for the betterment of yourself if the peach is the only income that you have then think about ways to secure that peach properly but it's like the way you go about it is always disingenuous and then you are going to end up getting fired again if you keep at keep at it anyways that's why i want to talk to you guys about let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you guys think i'm too hard on sheree um <laughs> Oh, do you guys agree with me let me know in the comment section below let's continue the conversation don't forget to smash that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that i post and make sure you share and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye